welcome back. Um, crazy time to be doing this, but I want to do some stuff later with this, so got to get this one out. I have uh, shown you what's on these sprues, but it was in a uh, Cadian Defense Force box when I got that big box, which is basically my army that I have for my Imperial Guard. I think I added a couple tanks. Um, but I wanted to show you what's exactly in the, uh, just the regular Cadian box. I'm, of course, not going to use these for Guardsmen. I'm going to convert these up for my Acolytes, for my Imperial Agents Army. Got a deal on this box, so picked it up, and let's see what's in it. <coughs> That's a bit of a reveal for me, too. I don't remember how these guys came. Hold on, let me shut the door a little bit. LT is teaching Charlie how to play Minecraft. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's a, um, yep, the arms are attached to the weapons here, it looks like, on the instructions. So, yeah, I was going to swap out the arms for um, some of my bits in my Skitari that are left over, which will be good. That will probably be what I'll need to do. Get this cool Kadia. But Kadia is gone. All the numbers and stuff. All right, they gave me some bases. Oh, ten. Got, got all the bases this time. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> Looks like a sprue of arms. Um, some las guns with bayonets here. Regular las guns. I believe that's grenade launcher, chain sword, a flamer, and another bayonet. Pistol as well, last pistol here. That'll be useful. Need to. I think I say use my last last pistol bit, so I'm gonna use. I'll have that one. I'll be able to do a um, a last pistol on another model that I'm looking at doing. So uh, let me see. I gotta get the light sources up a little bit higher for this, so you guys can see. I'll pick a corner, and. This is what you get on the sprue, if I can remember which direction to go. It's always backwards. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, we get two of those sprues. I guess originally, I can see this one was still connected. They connect here like this. And then they just cut them or probably just snap them over like that. That's why that one wasn't fully detached. They probably just take them and go... <laughs> and stuff them in the box. So, same... Same deal, same dealy bob, arms and such. So, a few arms here <coughs> that don't have um, something attached to them, I might be able to use for some stuff. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, my wife is ill and she may be passing that on to me. Look in here, what do we got? We got the um, canteen, knife, and um, ammo pouch. I'm trying to see here, look closer. Yeah, there is Aquila's on here. Not sure if I'll use any of those, I may. I'm one or two guys, maybe. Got some grenades, the uh, bear head with the communications um, headphone thing. Here's a big old pack here with a canteen and a, I don't know, maybe a mess kit in there or something, some big old thing. rest of the flamer, another just las gun, plain las gun, I'll need that. I um, have some stuff set up that I'm going to use for making, hopefully eventually here making my uh, objective markers, custom objective markers. Empty helmet, that will be good too. The communications backpack, there. A couple of these knife sheets don't have knives in them. And some heads, various heads. So let's look close. Pick a corner here. There we go. You guys can see what you get on the sprue. A couple legs in there as well. A lot of bodies. A lot of bodies. Ooh, getting all fumy here. I um, base coated, or um, yeah, I base coated, and then I clear matted, matted the. Uh, Valkyrie because um, the base coat that I used uh, just had I didn't want to mess with like thinning down my regular black and so I used a gloss that I just had ready to go for my uh, airbrush and uh, so I had to thin that back or 
knock that back to matte. Although I'm hoping it dries a little better than it looks right now. It may need another coat to make it smooth. It's not a really bad day for for um, uh, spray painting, but uh, apparently it wasn't good. Okay, this is the exact same sprue. So you get the five bodies, five legs. Basically, the way you can do these up is you can do them as two two small little five man squads, which is good, or as a bigger squad. So same stuff on this sprue right here. So what you get if you buy this one. But uh, as I said, I'll use this for other means. And we will maybe do that together a little bit. Get break out the bitses and play around and see what we can do. But this will get me ten more acolytes. Will will bring me um, a third of the way that I need to go. Because I've looked at the army list and if I adjust how some things are equipped I can go to um, 60 acolytes in my Imperial Agents Army my pure Imperial Agents Army so this will be interesting to having the uh, big blobs of elite soldiers um, half of them will be or more half or more will be objective secured though because uh, Cody is as part of my list and his new thing gives uh, the, those guys objective secure, which is great, great thing to have in the army. And that's it. It goes back in the box for now. So we get ready to use it, which hopefully will be soon. And it's uh, Master Milton, KM Infantry Squad. Get the 10 guys in there, kit them out. Can always make the one sergeant and the one communications guy in there. And, of course, the heavy weapons options. I always choose flamers. I know other people think flamers aren't the greatest thing, but me, love flamers. Love flamers. <laughs> Maybe it's the, the fluffy part of it. But, all right, uh, it'll be nice to know if this is still the standard for the infantry now with the fall of Cadia. Of course, Cadian pattern armor is made all kinds of places, but definitely wondering where the... Um, GW guys are going, are they going to implement a whole new design of infantry? Um, some post uh, second age here, you know, uh, dying emperor age, and it's going to be some new emperor or the death of the emperor and a rebirth of the Imperium, and then they're going to create some new kind of models and stuff, of course, so they can sell those. Sell, 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 sell. <laughs> or what? But um, enough of that. This is what you get on the sprue in the Astro Militum KD Infantry Squad, if you're wondering. So you basically get two uh, sprues, pretty much exactly alike. One's mostly the troops and their weapons options. The other gives you uh, some extra heavy weapon uh, bits and stuff so you can make those guys. Alright guys, if you like this video, you know the stuff, the drill. Hit that like button, make the blue thumbs up. Comment down in the comment section if you have any questions or... Um, thoughts about these guys right here and what may happen with them uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button and then crack on that bell and make it go bing I don't think it does but you can try so that you can get updates when we have new videos coming out here on the channel other than that I appreciate your time I thank you very much for spending it with me and I'll talk to you later